Save time and improve quality with user refined letters. At 8mm this eye is looking good and will stitch well with enough space between the vertical column and the dot to define each of the shapes. But reduce the letter to 4mm and the space is about the same as stitch spacing and you will end up with the letter L. Let's make some modification to the shape of the letter to make it work. First, I will reshape the dot so the stitches run vertically. Go to the reshape tool, make sure the shape nodes are displayed by selecting the first node in the reshape toolbar, then click on any one of them and move around the clock. Move the first one away from its location, then replace it with the node that was beside it. Move around the nodes and change their position until you have the stitches running vertically. Remember we have to deal with push and pull here and we do not want a very wide dot. So click on the horizontal ruler to create some guidelines that line up the vector line of the vertical column. We do not want the dot stitches to extend quite as far as the lines so make any adjustments that are necessary. I think a rounded dot will look and perform best here and give the advantage of only one stitch being close to the column. So right click midway along the bottom line of the dot to create a rounded node. Now while holding the control key select the outside nodes and move them up. Adjust the top node similarly. and even select all the nodes and move the dot up slightly. You can even move the top nodes of the column down slightly, but be careful not to change the shape too much. Small adjustments are the key. Now, when you're happy with the refined shape, select the master node, then from the object menu, select Create a user refined letter. The Create a user refined letter dialog box will appear where you can set the conditions for the trigger point to change the letter shape. In this case I want the change to happen when the letter is less than 4mm in height. Let's give it a name and OK. Now, now test. Change the height to 4.1mm and see the change to the shape. Now back to 3.9. After testing you may realise that the trigger height should be say 5.5mm. To make this change go to the setup menu and select manage user refined letters. If you have made adjustments to a number of letters make sure you select the letter you wish to change from the drop down. In this case I have only the letter I. Now type in the new value or use the slider and OK. Test again. You can modify the shape as many times as you wish by repeating the process. It is possible to delete a letter if you go to the Manage User Refine Letter dialog box, select the letter in the left hand column till it turns blue and hit the delete button. You cannot delete the original lettering. This can be a huge time saver for fonts that you use regularly. It's worth the time to create user refine letters when the need arises.